forget anna hazare for a moment let me tell you why i as a 19 year old student of iit khadakpur fasted with anna hazare for 4 days starting 5th april unicef says that 6000 children die daily in india due to malnourishment their suffering is mainly due to rampant and deep rooted corruption because of which they are immune to growth and development when i fast i bring suffering onto myself telling those children in my own humble way that if i am unable to reduce their suffering by bringing the jan lokpal bill i would rather be one with them and not continue to enjoy the luxuries of life if people say democracy is being hijacked by my fasting didn't the democracy die long ago when 21 lakh children die each year in india due to malnourishment fasting is thus the most democratic form of protest where i become one with the starving millions and add to their democratic strength and assertion why should my fasting hijack the democracy any more than the fasting of those starving millions quoting the mahatma quote suffering voluntarily undergone brings an inner strength and joy if the mind could be prepared for voluntary suffering even massacres could be turned into a day of thanksgiving to the god fearing death has no terror it is a joyful sleep to be followed by a waking that would be all the more refreshing for the long sleep unquote so come 16th august and all 206 of my bones and those of thousands of other indians will be seen more prominently as we all join an indefinite fast with anna hazare if a large number of indians bones don't become prominent at that time india will soon be strewn with bones and skeletons of the starved people at the bottom of the pyramid hope you look into the mirror at that time and find your bones prominent too thanks for watching